On top, the forest subsidy removal. Edo state government don't bring out ways to implement the three times in a week office work directive by Edo state governor Gordon Obaseki as part of an effort to reduce the suffer of Edo people where the removal of forest subsidy bring come. For one meeting with permanent secretaries, heads of ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs, the Edo State Head of Service, Anthony Okumbawa Esquire, Contoc said the three times in a week office work directive no go reduce the productivity and efficiency of service. A constitutional say according to the directive of the governor, Edo workers go work for three days in a week, but that one no means say the office go day close for the remaining two days as officers go day on ground to continue government work. It's not a holiday that the governor has given to us. It is just to allow us to have some relief in terms of uh, the cost of commuting between home and work uh, for two of the five work days. Uh, so we are not going to take it as if uh, those two days have been given to us as holidays. And so it's important that we let our people know exactly what we're doing because they are becoming agitated Will our offices be shut down for two of the five days in a work week? Uh, what arrangements are we making to ensure that uh, we're able to deliver or continue to deliver our services to them? The of the service into the e-governance platform. And with that platform, we can work remotely from anywhere. Therefore, this reduction in the number of work week or work days in a week is not going to impact our performance, it's not going to impact our productivity negatively. And I think I need to make that very, very clear. Uh, it's not as if we're going to shut the offices for two days of the five working days. We will have officers every day of the week on ground to attend to the work of government and the services that government is supposed to render to the people. So the people should continue to visit our offices. And when you visit our offices, you will have people attending to you, in spite of the fact that there has been this reduction in number of days uh, constituting the work week. Okumbawa contacts say those people who want work for more than three days, they're free to come work and then go appreciate their efforts. A constant say the governor get the people of Edo State for mind, as seen don't promise to put buses for different locations where go they carry government workers come their place of work. We had a template which we used during the COVID era. And that template we're going to reactivate. During COVID, in spite of the seriousness of the issues that we're dealing with, our offices were not shut down. What we did then, which we are going to do again now, is that we will arrange ourselves, our personnel for every ministry, department, or agency. You will work with your staff to ensure that there's an arrangement in place uh, so that people are at work at every time, at ev during every day of the week, of the work week, provided that nobody is forced to come to work beyond the three days that Mr. Governor has instructed. But it doesn't mean that because the governor has said there will be three days of work in a week that people who want to work for more than three days will not be allowed to. We have seen situations where because in our offices there is electricity 24-7, because in our offices you can access the internet virtually uninterrupted, a lot of our workers would on their own want to come. And I've had uh, that report given to me by several people to say, we don't want to stay at home. We want to come to work. So for us as a service, such people will be allowed to come. Indeed, we will commend them for coming to work, even though governor or the government has given two days reduction in terms of work. Even while you're working for those three days, physically, we have developed something, you know, between, um, there's going, there are going to be shuttle buses between government house it's going to be a triangular thing between government house, the secretariat, and JUPSA. Uh, that will ease substantially the stress financially of our people who have to operate between government house and the secretariat as well as JUPSA. So that shuttle bus will leave every hour. So for every hour of the day, of the work day, you will have the opportunity of using those buses.
As a matter of fact, that's actually a precursor to what Mr. Governor has planned uh, on an expanded basis. Uh, we have uh, identified eight routes in the city and uh, we'll be putting uh, the mechanism in place very, very shortly to get this uh, uh, effective. There'll be eight routes and Mr. Governor has promised that he will provide buses in each of those eight routes, but we'll start with four. By the grace of God, soon, that we convey workers from the different places uh, that these routes will cover to the sectariat and wherever they work. You know, the whole reason why Mr. Governor came up with this idea is to ensure that because of the raise in terms of transportation costs, uh, government wants to ensure that that does not have too much impact on our people. And um, Mr. Governor is always interested, as we know, I don't think this needs reiteration, in the welfare of our people. And that is why we are the first government in this country to implement the 13th month salary, which Mr. Governor gave to us recently. So for every worker in Edo State, there will be a 13th month end in December. For essential duty workers like doctors, nurses, hospital workers, story people, where you both they call journalists, and those where they in charge of cleaning environment, or kung bawa then go there for their duty post always. A constitox then go still consider them as them go discuss them with the governor. For uh, people on essential duty, they are exempted from this because we don't want to imagine a situation where uh, those who work in the hospitals, the doctors, and the nurses, you know, they are also uh, not there two days of the week. I don't think that's something that we, we want to have. So Mr. Governor has said that for those on essential duty, they are exempted from the application of this new uh, directive. So it's important that uh, we get to know, the people should know that in the hospitals across the state, you will have doctors physically present, you have nurses and all, all others who are involved in healthcare delivery will be there to service you. And then, of course, other essential services like those who work in the electricity sector, it's important that uh, they also take note of that. I understand that those who are also cleaning the waste management board, uh, that's also, uh, they are also exempted. Those who clean, if they are workers, they are exempted from the application of this instrument. For education, Edo Suburb Chairman Ozavize Salami Kontok say basic and junior secondary schools for Edo State go only go school from Monday to Wednesday and the school go day close for the other two days. She contacts say them don't increase the learning hour for basic schools by one hour and for junior secondary schools by two hours so that them go fit put the Thursdays and Fridays for inside Mondays to Wednesdays. The plan that we've come up with focuses on maximizing in-class learning. We want to ensure that the children cover the entire curriculum that they are supposed to cover for the remaining part of the term. It's important to say now we are, the children are currently on midterm break. They resume on Tuesday next week and will stay with us for six weeks of learning before the end of the term. What we've done is for the three-day work week, we try to cluster the school learning days into the first three days of the week. We didn't want any gaps because for administrative reasons. So children will come to school on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in all basic education schools across the state. What we've done also is that we've extended the current learning time by one hour in primary schools and two hours in junior secondary schools to ensure that the term curriculum is achieved. So we've taken the, the, the timetable for Thursday and Friday and integrated it into the timetable for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The children will need to stay longer in school. We, um, we will then use, um, recently we distributed books across every school in the state. So every child in Edo State has a homework book for each term. So we will try to leverage on the instructional materials that we have distributed to the, the children already. So on the days that they are not in school, we will use their homework, we will assign them work using their homework books and we'll also open up our virtual classrooms. We have over 7,000 virtual classrooms we will activate again to be open during the Thursday and Friday that the children are not in school. 
The elongation of the learning time just ensures we cover curriculum. Students still benefit from the same learning that they would have as much as possible. It also ensures us to schedule the classes that, um, that ordinarily they will cover on, on Thursday and Friday. For the homework books, we'll assign, we'll assign um, content to the children. Anything in basic education must, goes with monitoring and evaluation. So we must always check that this is done. So we have an elaborate monitoring and evaluation platform. We have field officers. We have people in the local government. And of course, we have our technology that helps us check when the, when the teachers impute all the data that they get in their different, from the different schools. The assignments will be reviewed to ensure that reinforcement is done and that the children are covering what they should. We'll activate I Do Best at Home. As I said, this gives us more access. We also realize that for the times that the virtual classrooms will be open, the, the parents may not be at home. So for the time that the children are, for the classrooms are open, with whatever number of children can access the classroom will, but it's also, we also have other parts of adult best at home that are not virtual classrooms. We have the online quizzes that are, are, that are aligned with what the children are learning in school. When the classes are closed, the parents can still assess the content and do the work and still um, submit them and join the next class. We've made it clear, we've put the timetable up there, showing the number of days children will be in school, taking into account public holidays, showing, um, reflecting the, um, the days of exams and the days of um, the parents will come for open days, reflecting the time that the children will close. So now primary schools will close at 3.45 instead of 2.45. GSS schools will close at 4.55 instead of 2.45. We will make sure that we monitor and evaluate everything that we are doing to the end that um, we achieve what we are trying to achieve. From Benin City, A. Carter Ojisoli, TMC TV News.